How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? Your heart has made its choice, then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh! I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait, so our new professor is... you? I didn't see that one coming. Easy, Kaspar. <laughs> Aren't you being a bit rude? You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. <laughs> don't look at me like that! Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. <sighs> I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our Professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. You can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Oh, uh, please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes, but I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Not real ice, just the ice of... Um... Well, it just means let's get to know each other. I don't want to train! Let's stay in the classroom and... Learn from a book. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? I know we all agreed to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Uh, they're not normally this... rowdy. I do hope you can manage, Professor.
It's finally time for the mock battle. This is my chance to measure your worth as an instructor. Do you think you can rise to the challenge? So confident. This will be interesting. Each of us has undergone strict training. We're prepared for anything that comes our way. That means there's no need to hold back. Show us what you're capable of. Hey there. Did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, oh, no worries. We'll just join in now. Simply tell me your weaknesses and you're welcome to stay. But is there enough time to cover them all? Ah, so you can't win unless you know my weakness. Poor princess. You really should believe in yourself more. I spare no effort when pursuing victory. As a master of schemes, I should think you would understand. Schemes? Me? I have no idea what you're talking about. I plan to fight fair and square as ever. Hearing the words fair and square from Claude can only be a bad omen. Your Highnesses haven't known me for very long, but you already have me figured out, don't you? No need to poke fun. I will fight with honor. That said, I will fight to win. Yes, and the same is true of us. Right, Professor? If that is how you feel, then I will not hold back. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. Edelgard? Professor? Be careful out there. The mock battle is finally here. Will you lead us to victory? I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Stay focused. As you wish. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I will prevail. That's my cue. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. <sighs> Are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, your highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you, Mercedes? Keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. We'll try our best.
so strong. Have to do better next time. You could have at least tried. A chance to grow. Such power dwells within. Yeah! Well done, Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. is quite a commander. How humiliating. I thank you. Are you really going to fight two houses at once? <laughs> An impressive display of confidence. This is a good opportunity for us. Let's forge ahead. You're a tough opponent, but I refuse to yield. Do not fool yourself into believing I will hold back. Dimitri, it's time. We can finally settle the question of who's stronger. Very well. I accept your challenge. With you as my opponent, I won't hold anything back. I would expect no less. <laughs> it's a long road yet. My training was insufficient. I am so sorry, everyone. The rest is up to you. Ah! 
I still have a long way to go. You can't stop me! No! Uh, apologies, your highness. I can go no further. I've got many skills, you know. I can't wait to challenge you. I've exhausted this topic. Mark of nobility. Be mindful. Well done. Stay focused. Coming up with brilliant schemes that can handle, no problem, but I'm not much for fighting. Go easy on me. You know that was a joke, right? Jeez, not so much as a smile. Princess. I'll have to be careful not to scar that little face of yours. Careful, Claude. I'll win no matter what, but you're only making things harder for yourself. Losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Ooh, this will be a bit of a shock then. To shock was your intention to begin with, was it not? <laughs> One step at a time. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. You are not. Always getting stronger. So, you've made it past Manuela, eh? I see now I must focus and then make my move. to be all I can. 
Ugh, I hate losing. I guess I'll just have to settle for cheering the others on. Coach, was that really necessary? You could have at least tried. Someone with actual battle experience is... Well, I was as good as useless. That is that. I'm not setting a very good example. Time to set my aims even higher. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Black Eagle House! Even though it was just a mock battle, we defeated both houses masterfully. Take pride in this victory, everyone. Excellent work today, Professor. Though our victory should come as no surprise. Yes, it was. Further proof that you're well qualified to guide the Black Eagles. That was impressing, Professor. I mean, uh, impressive. We gained a victory because of your great leadership. We certainly did. We all tried our best, of course, but we couldn't have won without you. I was curious what it would look like if you did not hold back, and you did not disappoint. <laughs> I dare say we owe our victory to Lady Edelgard. How so? For that battle, she was only a soldier following our professor's command. Sure, she was an incredibly powerful soldier. Don't worry about it too much, Linhart. All that matters is that we won! I'm all done with being on the battlefield, okay? I'd rather stay back than pursue victory out there. You were all as ridiculous as always. We only managed to win because we worked together. Was it something I said? Is it so odd, me talking about togetherness? If so, that perception must change. In fact, I'm canceling the festivities so we can discuss this topic further. I'm kidding, of course. Come on, everyone. We've earned this celebration. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. 
Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me! <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. Whatever shall I do with you? I am alive within the confines of your heart. I am unknown to all but you. But through your eyes and ears, I see and hear. Just listen to your heart, as you are doing now, and we may speak like this. That is all that I know. this nonsense! All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible! No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail! You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback, but now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey! This isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Get back here! Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> 